and then on that trip on the Arthur on my last night, um, I heard this yip, 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 yip going on, like the most resonant um, yip. I'd, I'd never heard anything like it. So I get to Turk's Landing the next day and, and I found the hamper for the tourists. They, they kept tuna in there and tea bags and I, all I was hanging was a cup of tea, believe it or not. And I opened this hamper up and there's the tea bags and the sugar and, and long life milk and I thought, awesome. So I lit a big fire, got me a cup of tea going, ripped into a can of tuna and next thing the tourist boat pulled in, the George Robinson. All these tourists were getting off. I was in um, old grey, uh, uh, what do you call those, old grey flannels? I had full set of dreads, beard down <laughs> in my chest, and, and I looked pretty wild. And, and they'd look at me as they were getting off, and as soon as I made eye contact, they'd look away and dart off. And then the, the tour guide, Grantley Cole, he knew me. He said, oh, Garbo, what are you doing here? And I told him my story, and he went in to do his bit with the, with the tourists. But, and then the, the launch operator, I started talking to him, an older fellow. I think it was Tucky or Turk or something like that. And... Uh, and I, I remember this, the, there was more than one the night before. It was like a, a, a group hunting. You, they'd get real feverish over one area and then it sounded like it was coming from somewhere else. And I'd never heard anything like it. And I, I mentioned it to him, he said, oh, that's a thylacine boy. And I said, how do you know that? And, and he said, I saw th- uh, a, a mother with three young'uns there four years prior, just up from where I was. Now get this, 